So hi there everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mary from Mary Matthews Handmade and this is my crafty vlog number 33. How are you all? I'm not too bad, thank you very much. I'm in need though of a bit of coffee today. I actually film these vlogs on the Monday, so this is the Monday after the night before, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so, um, if you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Mary, I live in a small cottage in West Sussex, which is in the very southeast of England. And I like anything crafty and these vlogs are just my way of telling you what I've been up to, any tutorials that are coming up, any plans that I have. Some of them are longer than others, some of them are more crafty than others, but you are more than welcome. So do introduce yourself in the comment section down below. You will also, in the description box, find all of my contact details, my social media. You can support this channel by buying me a coffee or just simply giving this video a thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed. Now I do believe that as of this morning I, I've just gone over 1900 subscribers so once we get to that 2000 there will be a nice giveaway so do make sure that you have clicked the subscribe button. Do feel free to share this on your own social media. We seem to be building just a nice little crafty community here so let's keep going. Anyway, what a weekend were you watching last night? I certainly was. Now I don't pretend um, to be a real big football fan. Half the time I don't think I really know what's going on. But I did watch England in the final last night. Absolutely fantastic. So well done England and I know we lost but we lost on penalties and I always think penalties are just a bit of luck to be honest aren't they let's face it but you all did your country proud so a huge well done from me anyway crafty wise what have I been up to so last week I did talk to you about these little butterflies here and I did intend on doing my own sort of take on that pattern my own tutorial for you but I wasn't overly pleased <laughs> with the result I think my points I don't know it just turns out really weird so what I've done I don't want to just completely copy anybody else's tutorial so what I've done is if I just show you on this one this is a butterfly by Bella Coco that's her tutorial here on YouTube which I will pop the link down below I just added my own little border so I followed her two round tutorial and then what I did um, I just fastened off the blue color then I added this lovely red and I literally just put one UK double or US single crochet in each of the stitches going around okay and I think that finishes that off quite nicely. What I was trying to do was make these wings a little bit pointier but I found that it just added too much bulk and they ended up looking rather silly. So I would suggest that you go over and follow her tutorial and then all you need to do is just add your little border around and that just adds another little pop of colour. So aren't they cute? So that's worth having a go. I'm going to be making loads of these up in various colours and adding them to my shelves downstairs just to, just to brighten the place up a little bit. And they're also just a nice way of using up those oddments. Now, this one I've hooked up in cotton. I've actually used one of these little balls. Now, I, can't, I don't know how to say that. What is that? Rickaroomy? I'm not sure if I just show you by Rico, if I just show you the label there. Now um, I've got some various colours. The colours that I've used here I will um, just list them down in the description box below. I used my, oh it's stuck, 
I use my three and a half millimeter clover and more hook. They're my favorites. Now this one up here, I did in a double knit weight yarn. So obviously if you want to make them bigger, you just up or down the size of your yarn and hook, but it's just a nice way of using up all of those oddments. Now I did also make something else this week because it's been quite warm here in the UK, not necessarily sunny, but it's been quite close. So we've had all the windows and doors open. Then what happens? All the flies come in. Now you know I like to have a glass of wine and I was just sitting there and I'm fed up of putting a coaster on the top to stop them going in. I don't want flies pooping in my wine. So I've made a little wine cosy. Look at that. <laughs> Whatever next. So literally I just used some Aran weight cotton. I went out. So if you're if you don't know how to go out, just follow my tutorial for the face scrubbies, I teach you how to do a flat circle. And then when you get to the width that you want, you literally, to come down, you're just gonna put one stitch in each stitch going all the way around. Now what I did to form this ridge on that first round after you've stopped increasing, I just worked in the back loops only just for that one round and it makes a nice ridge around the top. And then you just come down as far as you want so that it's nice and secure on there. So I put some little roses on the top. I think what I'm going to do is add a few leaves in between. But that's just a little idea for you. <laughs> Honestly, I put a cosy on anything. Now just to say, I forgot to say, the roses are actually a pattern by Attic24. These are her um, May roses, I think she calls them. So if you go to her blog, Attic24, she gives you the pattern for those. And I do believe that's what I used here on my basket up here as well. It's just, um, again, I used those little balls of yarn to make those so they come out nice and small but as I say I think I'm going to follow my tutorial for the leaves and just maybe add a few in between. Now I'm also working on an autumn tutorial for you so this is going to take a little while for me to do so I'm going to be showing you how to make a granny stitch shawl then we're just going to put a simple border all the way around it's going to be one of those that you sort of have the point at the front and then it wraps around but obviously I need to make the shawl first then what I'll do in the tutorial is just start you off so I'll most probably just do a few rows and then put a border on that little sort of on that little example piece but I do want to make a full size one just to show you what it looks like on now if it's something that you're going to be interested in doing, I have these lovely autumn shades. Now look at that. I'm literally just going to use this one ball of yarn. Now this is Cedar Dual Spun. It's 100% acrylic and this colourway is called Setting Sun. Isn't that fantastic? So you've got all those greens, yellows, reds more sort of autumnal colours but I'm afraid it's it's heading our way faster than we'd like. Now I actually got this ball of yarn in Hobbycraft and I was there this morning, didn't mean to go into Hobbycraft but I had to get some new walking boots and I went to Mountain Warehouse which is right next door to Hobbycraft so of course <laughs> So of course it called to me as I was coming out, shouldn't have done because I spent a fortune on new boots but um, I did go in there this morning and they do have um, this yarn in there and they also have a whole range of colourways, absolutely beautiful colourways, sort of sea shades or pastel shades, all different colours. So. If you think it's going to be something you are interested in making, I'm going to be using just one ball, so it might be worth just popping down to Hobbycraft. Go, 
you're allowed and getting your yarn in readiness so that's going to be coming up most probably in August so it's ready for the autumn. Now also this week I've been using up some of my cottons so I have a few balls of this shape years Callista, one of my favourites. You've seen me mention this yarn before. It's nice and soft for a cotton. Um, so I'm actually making up just four of these lovely granny squares. Now again, what I'll do is list the colours that I've used in the description box down below. And what I'm going to be making is a purse, pencil case, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to need four of these granny squares. I'm going to be using up a zip that I already have and I'm going to be lining it as well. So what I'm going to do this week, so if it's something that you'd like to do, just a zipper pouch. What I'm going to do with this is use my cream colour to join these two and then I'll have to one side to the other side I'm just going to put a simple border around I will show you what this looks like next week then I'm going to join my bag and I'm going to add in where's it gone or I will pin in so you know I'll talk you through how I do that I'm going to pin in the zip so I put my zip in first before I do the lining. Now, if you watched um, earlier in the year, we made the bags very similar. I'm going to double line. Because the granny squares are holy and you can see through, I want this lovely, look at that daisy fabric, that's from Hobbycraft. I want this to be the lining on the inside. Um, but I don't want to see the back, if I just show you, this is the back of the fabric so you can still see the pattern. Now I don't want to see that when I have my granny squares, you're not going to see it a lot but you know I'll be, I'll be looking for it. Um, so I don't want to see that through those holes. So what we did with our bag earlier on in the year and what I'll be doing this time, I'll be double lining. So I'll have an outer lining of just the white. So that's all you're going to see. And then an inner lining of that lovely daisy fabric. So I'll be walking you through step by step, but this week I'm going to do the outside so I need to join those. Literally, I'm going to have wrong sides facing and then I'm just going to use UK double crochet, that's US singles, to join. So you do get that ridged effect which I rather like and then the ridge will be on the outside. So I'm going to go ahead and then I'm going to show you my progress next week. So if it's something that you fancy doing, you could use up your granny squares making a bit of a zipper pouch. Now I've also made some progress on my baby blanket. I've been putting my border around. Now I've been following the Cloudy Days baby blanket by a Little Gems craft shop. So there you go, I've finished the body in the lilac and as you can see I'm just adding those scallops, they're meant to be part of a cloud and I did show you before, once I've gone all the way around I'm going to be adding these fabulous little clouds. So I think she makes seven or eight of these clouds to add just to the front so I should be able to finish this this week coming and I can show you the finished item next time but if you fancy having a go at that you can see I've only done my first round there so I've just got to finish doing those scallops all the way around so if you do fancy having a go as I say it's the cloudy days baby blanket very easy pattern to follow 
and that's by Little Gems Craft Shop. Now, before I go, as I say, I did go into Hobbycraft this morning. So, of course, there has been purchases made. I didn't need anything, but you know what it's like. You know what it's like. When I was looking at the yarn, these just spoke to me. So, look at these. Again, lovely autumn colours. I'm always drawn to the autumn colours. This is Hayfield spirit now this is what is it it's a double knit weight yarn 80% acrylic 20% wool and this is just there's no name it is shade 0415 so if I just show you the label there so I'm thinking that maybe a scarf will be made out of these. Aren't they fantastic? Now, again, if you do go to Hobbycraft, this Hayfield Spirit, they have got loads and loads of different colours. And I have used um, them before and I like the way that the colour changes are nice and subtle. So there you go, I bought those. So that is all from me this week. Now you will see that I've changed venue, changed clothes. What I did is I edited my video and I realised that my little goodbye had been deleted. So I didn't want to leave you without saying goodbye. So whatever you're doing this week, have a fantastic time and I will see you here next week. Bye bye. <laughs>